Hey guys, and welcome back to the video. I have a little friend with me, <laughs> Uncle, <laughs> today, and I'm going to be doing my 28 week bunk date. So I am 28 weeks today and I've just come back from my baby shower. I'm not sure what his head's doing right now, but it did um, get um. Thank you. It, it did get engaged. It was three fifths palpable and a few days before um. that it was four fifths palpable, which means he did go down. Um. But then at my last midwife appointment, um. which was Thursday, he was free again which means his hair had come unengaged so I don't know what's going on with that but I will get the app up now and tell you all about his development and size and all of that good stuff okay so this week baby is the size of a spaghetti squash I'm gonna do weird but cute animals as well it does get some very short or a Pomer Pomeranian dog. <laughs> Look at that. Da. Dog. Woof. Oh. Ezra is now fully grown. If he came out right now, he would be fine. They wouldn't have, or well, probably more than likely, wouldn't have to put him on any incubator or anything. Mama. And his lungs Mama. are Mama. all developed as much as they need to be, and he's just growing away in there. Oh. Yeah, and he's got all all the parts and all the things, and he's done and ready to come out at any point <laughs> so if he were to be born now yeah he would be strong enough to grip my finger if I put it in his hand so that was really cool he is moving less now but still like regularly and good they're, they're good movements I'm not concerned about anything like that but um he just has less room to move so he can't do as big a kicks and as, you know me wise I am having a bit of sicknessy feeling I did throw up but only the, I think it was once or twice last week um, but I have been having a bit of nausea I've been getting loads and loads of pressure just yeah. right down and it feels like he's been headbutting my um, mm -hmm. like pelvis <laughs> I think it might be soon he's definitely he knows which way he's going oh he's moving right now there's a bit of him poking out of me right here. <laughs> Ellie loves giving it every bad Um, I've been really emotional and stressed out and running around like a headless chicken. Um, which the midwife has told me off for, Lee's told me off for, and today at the baby shower I got told by like four or five people that now I just need to rest until he's born. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm not good at resting, but I'll try. So yeah, they did send me to what well, they asked me to come up to hospital because they thought I had preeclampsia. Um, I don't, it's all good, I just get occasional headaches. So I've been told by the midwife if I get any bad headaches and disturbed vision, I need to call up and probably go to St. Michael's and get checked up again. But other than that, I've been fairly good, very stretchy and sore. Um, you know, any pregnancy stuff. Uh, Something that has made me smile this week is obviously my baby shower. Um, and Ellie and Xander helped me yesterday cleaning the kitchen, as well as my mum. She helped too. She was a very, very big help. So if you're watching this, Mama, thank you so much for the help. Seriously. Also, having my baby, baby hospital bag packed um, made me so, so excited for him coming. So that's. That made me smile a lot too, getting all the, um, like, going home outfits and all that ready. So yeah, that was really, really good and I was like, just come, I'm so ready for you to come and put these clothes on you now. And I'm even more so with all the cute clothes um, that we have from the baby shower and some seriously like freaking soft blankets. I'm just gonna be cuddling Ezra because he's wrapped in the blanket. Not even because he's my baby, just because he's wrapped in the blanket. I'm kidding, it'll be because he's my baby and I love him. But the blanket will make it so much nicer. What I'm looking forward to is putting the new clothes, adorable clothes on the baby. 
wrapping him in super soft blankets and giving him cuddles and something I'm nervous about is if we will have the rest of the house tidy by the time he's here also like going ha like going up to hospital and it being a false alarm and having to waste that time and the money for like transport and stuff that kind of like it doesn't worry me but it just frustrates me i got some really nice bump pictures i'm still kind of halfway through editing them because i'm using a different photo editor than i am used to so getting it all right on that is kind of like a bit blur um so i will put those in somewhere here maybe or if there's a lot of them that i really like then i'll just make a separate video with a little photo slideshow and um, yeah that's about it really there's not not all that much different just sort of coming to the end of pregnancy getting hospital bag stuff ready and growing more so here is bump from the side the front thank you for watching this video guys don't forget to give it a big bye, thumbs bye, up bye, if bye, you did bye, like bye, it bye, ellie bye. says bye um, bye 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 bye. Bye. Link down below if you like the video. Give it a thumbs up if you bye. liked it. Comment down below if you Link have bye. anything that you would like to say. So long as it's nice, don't leave me in comments. I'm hormone okay. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already because there's gonna be some baby updates soon instead of bump dates. But there will probably be another one or two bump dates. Yeah. I will keep you guys posted when this baby comes. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. Two weeks until my due date. So I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.